in our previous video of inequalities, we saw how to solve for a quadratic inequality for the values of x which satisfy a certain inequality. So, for example, if we had to do the same for this one, x, x minus 3, it is essentially a quadratic, right? This is because x square minus 3x less than 0. Uh, it's already factorized for us, so that's great. x, x minus 3 is less than 0. And we said then that the roots of this are 0 and 3. So the parabola will look like this. Here is 0 and here is 3. And this is what it will look like. And, um, well, it, it is symmetric. Just, you know, ignore this. Uh, now, in, in we want y to be less than 0. So we want those points where those values of x for which y is less than 0. And those are these values of x, right? all these points. So whenever x is lying between 0 to 3, y is less than 0. Because on the parabola, the, those points lie here where x is between 0 to 3. And here x, y is, zero, is less than 0. So that is why we said that the solution to this is 0 is less than x and less than 3. Now, uh, notice over here that here y is positive for these points of, for these values of x. Here y is negative and here y is positive again. This leads us to the wavy line or the wavy curve method, the very popular one. And we'll discuss uh, the concepts of that now. So, Assume we have an inequality with these factors, x, x minus 3 is less than 0. So then less than 0, what does this mean? It means negative. Keep this in mind. It means that this thing is negative. Don't think of it as less than 0 because then our brain doesn't process it as negative or positive. Think of this as negative. We want that x into x minus 3 should be negative. So when will a product of two factors be negative? When exactly one of them is negative, then the product will be negative. All right. When will it be positive? When either both are positive or both are negative. Okay. So let's draw them on the number line, which is nothing but just the x-axis, right? We say 0 here and we have 3 here, which are these points, 0 and 3, the roots, right? Now, what happens when x is greater than 3? When x is greater than 3, then this is positive, the x. And x minus 3 is also positive when x is, let's say, 4 or 5 or 6. Then x minus 3 is also positive. So both the factors are positive. So the product x into x minus 3 will be positive over here. What about in this range between 0 and 3? Between 0 and 3, x is positive. But what about x minus 3? For example, if we have 2, x is 2, then it becomes minus 1, which means that exactly one factor is positive and exactly one factor is negative. So the product x into x minus 3 will be negative over here. What about here? Now here, x is also negative. For example, if x is minus 1, so then this is negative, And this is minus 1, minus 3 is again a minus 4, which is negative. So basically, both the factors are negative, which means that the product becomes positive over here. So this is called our wavy line method, where the rightmost region is positive because all the factors are positive here. Then when we take one step to the left, we get a negative product. When we take another one step to the left, what do we mean one step? One transition point. These are called your transition points. These are the points where the product of the entire, uh, the uh, sign of the entire product changes. Why? Because the sign of one of the factors, exactly one of the factors changes. Look, x minus 3 is positive over here. But x minus 3 is negative over here. 0, so x, just x, is positive over here. But it is negative over here. So here, both are positive. When we take one step to the left, then 
here this one is negative and this one is positive so the product is negative when we take another one step over here then both become negative and the product becomes positive again so that is how we say that the product will be positive in the rightmost region then in the next region it will be negative in the next region it will be positive so then we want the product to be negative so that will be this 0 to 3 region so the product x x minus 3 um sorry so the product will be uh, negative in 0 less than x less than 3 so think of less than 0 as negative and greater than 0 as positive then whatever we do will make a lot more sense so let's review the wavy line method we start with the factors in the form x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. The factors should not be of the form a minus x. The factors should not be of the form ax minus b. We need the factors to be of the form x minus a only. So what do we do if we have factors of this form? We'll discuss that shortly. So uh, we start with these factors. Then we make a number line and plot the points a, b, and c on it. So here we'll make the number line and we'll plot A, B and C depending on where they should be placed. Then we start from the rightmost section. We start from this section. This is the rightmost section and we mark this as positive. So we'll be just drawing the line for the heck of it. Otherwise, we move one step to the left. And we mark this as negative. We move one step to the left. We mark this as positive. Move one step to the left. We mark this as negative. So now the entire product is going to be positive in this region and in this region. While the entire product is going to be negative in this region and this region. Then what are the values of x for which x minus a into x minus b into x minus c is less than 0? Less than 0 means between b and c. So x should lie between b and c or x should be less than a. All right, then how about what are the values of x for which this entire thing should be greater than 0. For positive, x should be greater than c or x should be between a and b. So, a and b. We start from the rightmost section and mark the sections with alternate positive and negative signs. So, this is what we do to handle an inequality with multiple factors. Now, we'll take a look at it using an example. For how many integer values is x into x plus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 7 less than 0? So first of all, all the factors are of the form x minus a. x is also x minus 0, so it doesn't matter. Let's plot them all on the number line, which is nothing but the x-axis, right? Okay, so minus 1, because x plus 1, then we'll plot minus 1 over here. That will be the point of transition. Then x minus 2, which means that we'll, point, we'll plot 2 over here. And x minus 7, which means that we'll plot 7 over here. Now start from the rightmost region. This is positive. This is negative. This is positive. This is negative. And this is positive. We want the entire product to be negative, to be less than zero. So where all do we have negative? We have here and we have here, which means that x will lie between minus one and zero, excluding, and x will lie between two and seven, excluding. Because we have a less than 0, we do not have less than equal to 0. So we cannot include these points. We cannot include 2 and 7, the points. We just have to take the range in between. So then how many values can x take? x can take infinite values between 2 and 7. But how many integer values can x take? x can take 3, 4, 5, and 6. That is 4 integer values. Between minus 1 and 0, there is no integer value. So that is why x can be 
one of these four integer values. So bring each factor in the x minus a form. Then the rightmost region will be positive. That is where we start from.